One of the things that I really found pretty interesting on the PlayStation 1 console was that the way the console rendered water. Considering how um, old the console is and how interesting the development process of games on this console was, the devs had to go out of their ways and find creative ways to make convincing looking water for their games which led to creations such as the Tomb Raider's Mansion swimming pool, then Dead in Waters on the PlayStation 1, and also the Crash Bandicoot 3's interesting, uh, you know, sort of racing type of level that you saw first in the video. And another very interesting game was the Fluid for PlayStation 1. At first glance, I couldn't believe that this was an actual PlayStation 1 game. The game ran at like a very poor frame rate, but just look how amazing the water was and how convincing looking the entire environment was. It was just so amazing to look at something like this existed in the PlayStation 1. And it's hard to believe that it's a PlayStation 1 game because it's just so convincing. So I took my time and worked on a convincing looking water shader that would sort of replicate that classic uh, PlayStation 1 style water that, we, that you would see in games. And I tried to make the shader in Unity. I mean, uh, I really don't have any other game engines to work with. All I know is Unity. I would love to switch to Goodoad, but that's for a later discussion. For now, let's just continue with Unity. I also released the asset on H.io. If you want to get the asset, it's like $3 over there. You can also find the entire thing on my Patreon page. For $2, it's a membership. I don't know. I guess you can support me there because... I don't know why you would, but okay, so let's get started. Let me just real quick show you how this works and how I made it. Okay, so firstly, the shader supports your um, usual things such as a uh, fine texture mapping and sort of like the PlayStation 1 jittering thing. It's not pranked up the way you would expect it to be, but it's kind of like a basic system since every other free um, retro PS1 shader has this often. It wasn't really difficult to um, get this thing to look just nice. And that's the basic shader. And also uh, I made the shader uh, transparent uh, and it's a vertex slit shader. So each uh, it's, it uses like the, you know, the vertex slit thing. And there's also these properties and you can control the transparency. And of course, it's not a water without the waves. There's a very interesting uh, vertex based, uh, vertex deforming uh, wave system that I implemented. It's actually, it's not that complex. It's pretty easy. I just kind of like, you know, deform the vertices of the plane mesh that it's it's attached to over time. It uses uh, two different uh, waves of uh, noise to sort of like create this effect. And there's also a custom uh, script that also controls the uh, texture scrolling so that you can just give it any texture you want and it will just automatically do the thing where it's kind of, you know, look like dynamic, kind of stretches the texture, distorts it and stuff, makes it look like wave. It, I found that this was much more natural. It could be done with shader, but I think I'm just too dumb to understand that. Using a script was much easier for me. I just apply a different value to a pre-existing tiling value to the shade, a material that the um, that is attached to the object and also these are the scripts. As you can see, the first one is for the texture and the second one is for the wave. These are values and parameters for everything that you want to control and stuff. You know, these tiny values for like height and speed and stuff. It's pretty basic stuff. It's pretty easy. If you get the asset, you would get a readme there which explains how these things work and all. It's pretty basic stuff. So something like this can be easily made if you know what you're doing. But I found that just making an asset wouldn't really hurt. So I thought, hey, why not uh, make an asset for a dying game engine that's going to be dead probably in a few more months considering their company is making horrible decisions and not learning from their customers' feedback that we're really angry at them. Anyway, I would love to switch to Godot. I'm trying my best to do it. I would love to recreate this thing on Godot as well. But that's enough for now. So yeah, if you want it, you can get it from my Patreon, from the HIO page. Link will be in the description. And yep, that's pretty much it. So yeah.